All right, guys, so here we have our first look. So this is just a simple pair of light or dark blue wash denim with a white tee. The denim are Citizens and the t-shirt I just got at Aritzia. But I paired it with this custom leather jacket by By The Namesake. Rosa customizes all her jackets and they fit perfect. I put some shoulder pads in mine and then there's an option for a faux fur lining here as well. Um, and then I've got some cowboy boots. We all know how trendy these are for fall. I got these ones here at Massimo Duty. They were pretty affordable for cowboy boots. So yeah, this is our first look. So next up, we've got this super cute pantsuit that I got from Zara. I love the camel, camel super in, but any pantsuit that has like, that is one color, like a full coordinated set, I think is super in for fall. The pants here are slightly long, so I thought it looked really cool with sneakers, but you could also pair it with a pair of booties if you wanted a more elegant look for the office. Here I just have it with a crop top for a more casual look because I am wearing the sneakers. But yeah, I really, really like this trend, and I hope it stays for a super long time because I think it looks super cute. Here we have a slightly more dressy or corporate look. I have the same camel colored pants on, or trousers, sorry. But this time I paired it with this white structured blouse. I really like this. I actually got it last year from H&M, but it's really nice quality. Um, I feel like it's from their studio collection. And then I just kept it slightly opened. And then I have these cowboy boots on again. And I love the pointed toe look with the extra long trousers. Okay, so this is our next look. It's all black. I honestly love wearing all black, especially in the winter, because you have an excuse, because it's not nice out. But I have this blouse here that I picked up from And Other Stories, which you can also tie with like the whole bow in the front um, sort of situation, which I think is more elegant, but I wanted to keep this look a little more undone, so I'm wearing it open. And then I got these trousers, faux leather trousers from Zara. Really nice belt detailing. Really happy about the quality of these. And then again, I thought this looked really nice with the cowboy boots, just for more of an everyday look. Next look here is featuring the same blouse and I tied it in the bow like I previously mentioned. And then we have a denim skirt. This one's frayed on the bottom and it's from Dr. Denim. I really like the zipper detailing and the back just has two pockets. And then we have these boots from Public Desire, which I absolutely love. There's the thick zipper detailing and then the really cool heel that has slightly protruding back. But I really, really like these boots and I think they're a great fall essential. This belt I got from a vintage thrift store actually. Um, but any cool western belt, I think, would go with this look. Slightly edgier look, I'd say. This is definitely a daytime look for me. Um, I have these snakeskin pants from Zara. You guys have probably seen versions of this. IMGia has a pair with a more stiff sort of faux leather look. And then I paired it with the same boots. You could also wear cowboy boots or flat shoes. And then this super cozy sweater from Naked. Obviously fall is great for sweaters, for layering. So yeah, I really like this look here. And it's definitely bolder, but super fun. So here we've got another animal print look. This skirt I absolutely love. I got it at And Other Stories as well. And I just wanted a maxi skirt that had a print on it and I love cheetah, so it worked out really well. Um, I paired this look here with a cropped bandeau that has just like two thin straps and then a leather jacket to edge it up a bit with my cowboy boots. If you guys don't feel comfortable wearing a crop top like this, you could definitely do a sweater too. Layer that on, especially if it's colder out, but it's pretty warm and the weather fluctuates a lot here in Toronto, so I decided to just wear this for one of my looks. So next up, we've got this other look that I actually just put together. So it features a slip dress. Um, this one's kind of silk satiny from Ritzia, but you could also do a skirt with this look. And then I paired the same sweater again, nice and cozy. You could also probably put a belt if you wanted to cinch your waist a bit. 
And then I'm wearing a denim jacket over top because it is fall and just to break up the black a bit, I thought the blue looked complimentary. Without the jacket, it's still super cute. Definitely a little more formal, so you could probably wear this to the office if you do have a corporate or more of a, more of a desk job, I'd say. Um, and then these shoes are also from Naked. They're sock booties, super comfy with a wooden heel. And yeah. All right, so our next look here is a pretty low-key casual outfit. I have my favorite pair of Levi's. I believe these are the Wedgie or the 501s. They're definitely the 501s. In a very, very light wash denim. Um, I'll link them below, but I got mine at Free People a few years back. Then we have the same boots here from Naked. And I have a tank top, just a white tank top from Brandy Melville. It's slightly cropped with a pinstripe blazer that I got from Zara. So I've been really into blazers. You guys saw the pantsuit at the beginning, but I really like blazers for fall. They kind of go with everything. 